you guys initial thoughts whenever you heard that a hurricane was coming this way? Um, just wondering what we were going to do. I mean, the staff was extremely well organized. I have to give you guys a lot of credit. I mean, when you hear something, you all seem to know what to do. I mean, furniture is being hauled in. We have notices to be in our rooms no later than 9 p.m. I mean, no one was in a panic, uh, but we got very good information from the hotel, the staff, the people, the butlers that we deal with, uh, wait staff. Everyone seemed to know what was going on and made it really clear. Um, you should go to your room, you know, and stay away from windows. Um, and um, we'll just ride this one out. So we, we felt we got very good information better from you than what we would likely get if we searched on the internet ourselves. And, and obviously um, all the information the staff gave you and everything was, was really helpful, right? Yes. And they weren't in, in any panic or anything like that. Okay, great. And uh, did you folks feel safe? Did you guys get any sleep that night? Uh, how, how was your experience regarding the, the initial hurricane? Well, Malin here um, loves weather. So, you know, a good old storm is something she looks forward to. But, you know, you didn't know how bad it was going to be. We looked out our windows and saw, we saw one kind of explosion thing. We weren't sure what it was. Uh, maybe a cell tower going up? I don't know. Uh, it was far away from the resort, but it lit up the sky. Um, and, you know, then we lost power, and then we got power back because you guys have generators. And then we lost the internet for most of the evening, so we couldn't check on anything. So we thought the best advice was just to go to bed. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, you, you did mention about the aftermath. Uh, how was the aftermath uh, regarding the hurricane? Was it? Um, and when I mean aftermath is like, did it take long for the resort to start moving again? Um, Where you guys provided service throughout the whole stay, breakfast, etc. I guess I was surprised how quickly you, the resort was able to come back. Um, we thought maybe the restaurant would be closed. And we asked our butler, and they said, oh no, you know, buffet, you know, Casa Las Islas, it's open. And I'm going, well, how's that possible? I mean, there's no electricity. Oh yeah, there's electricity. And well, maybe they didn't have the right tools or whatever. Was, I don't know, we just thought it would be harder for you to recover than it really seemed to be. Uh, the elevators were shut down, and that was an inconvenience. But it was for safety because uh, we were told later you wanted to make sure electricity would be stable and those elevators could go up and down. And I think there was also some concern about electrical wiring and things. So uh, they just stayed down. So the we saw a lot of room service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we just felt, you know, it was over. So we just went to see our friends at uh, the buffet. Absolutely. And uh, how was your return home? Did, did everything went smooth. Uh, the airport was back running. Everything okay? Well, we we were there for about another ten days or so. Yeah, ten days. So after. by the time, yeah, by the time we left, everything was pretty much normal. Okay, everything was back to normal. Okay, well, uh, the main thing is that you guys were were safe throughout your whole stay, and uh, you received the proper information from our staff and. Uh, luckily, there was no structural damage. Everything was fine. Uh, there was 